all right guys welcome back to the channel so for today's video i am going to be doing my roof pretty much i'm going to be removing the old vinyl that i have right now and going to be replacing it with this brand new 2080 3m 3m so with this is a little bit different it does have like a protective film so once you apply the whole film on the roof um, there's actually like a film you have to remove so that's what i'm going to be doing and of course i'm going to be using also the 3m knifeless tape so finally this came through this was actually a, a slight delay for me but we have it here so now i'm able to do pretty much the roof quarter panels rear bumper front bumper and whatnot so oh yeah and also the side skirts but car is almost done not too bad it's looking good so far so but yeah so pretty much i'm gonna go ahead and remove the old vinyl and once i'm done removing the old vinyl i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove the antenna for the lexus and it's really easy it's just a 10 mil holding it and then just gotta disconnect the cables from it and really easy but i'll definitely show you guys how to do that but yeah let's go ahead and remove that old vinyl all right so pretty much i have the vinyl wrap removed i went ahead and actually cleaned off the residue that left off from the vinyl so basically now i have all left is to, to remove the antenna to remove the antenna you actually have to be inside the car and pull down the headliner underneath the headliner you're gonna see like a 10 millimeter screw and you basically just take that out and that's how the antenna comes out so all right so for the rear part you pretty much want to just remove this right here the rear dome light so in order to remove it all you have to do is just pull it down then from the other side as well and then you're gonna start seeing it pretty much like out. And once you have that out, just go ahead and disconnect it. All right, that's disconnected. All right, so for this part, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there is an, one nut right there, which is a 10 mil. And then once you remove the nut, um, you just need to press on that brown lever right there. Um, I'd say use like a flat screw, like a really thin flat screwdriver and just press on it. And then it'll basically release that brown um, lever part. And once you release that, that's pretty much how you remove the antenna from the outside. So I pretty much use like a small 10 mil. You really don't want to use like a big one just cause you don't want to actually like put too much force between here because the headliner does like crease up so i, I don't know if you kind of see like a minor crease right there but that's not bad you won't, you won't really notice it but if you use like a big like i guess like extension or 10 mil it's not going to be really helpful and you're just gonna like pretty much crease up the headliner to be bad all right so i pretty much have the 10 mil out this is pretty much it it's really small you just have to hold on to it once you i guess have it loose you don't want to actually like like let it fall down because it's gonna fall like further in to the um, headliner and I don't know how it, you can find it from there but you just basically don't want to lose it and just hold on to it once you have it loose and then pretty much like um, unloosen it with your hands all right so pretty much I have the cable pretty much disconnected from the antenna all you really have to do is just again um, press on that brown lever right there and it'll just pop out so now from the outside you can finally pull it out and yeah easily comes out and i had i do have the rest of the wrap right there so i'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off and yes it is raining um weather pretty much changed i guess last minute i did not see no rain for today and we'll have to postpone this video or just this clip pretty much for the next day but at least I have the wrap removed. All I have to do is pretty much just put the um, knifeless tape on the edges and apply the vinyl and that's it, ready to go. All right, so for this part, I pretty much have the knifeless tape already applied. So I did leave some extra room right here, just so in case I, by mistake, mess this up. So I, I'll have extra knifeless tape to pretty much peel it off. 
But anyways, I just have it right here, straight aligned with the quarter panels. Same thing with the other side, but definitely want to have the knife tape first before applying the wrap. So now pretty much all I have to do is just wipe down the roof one last time and then I'll go ahead and apply the, the new 2080 Series 3M Gloss Black. Alright, so pretty much I have the bottom wrap applied to the roof. All I need to do is pretty much just trim and just cut out the sunroof area and the edges right here and same thing with the back. But with the knifeless tape, that is pretty much next. So you can kind of see the overlay of the knifeless tape. So that's pretty much it where I'll have to like just yank it out and then pretty much it'll just nicely like cut straight. Alright, so with this, the knifeless tape is here. Um, so this film specifically has a double layered, so you kind of see it right there. So it's really to protect the gloss black and from it not scratching it. So when I peel it, it's like really like untouched gloss black. So that's the whole purpose of this film, extra film. But with this knifeless tape, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to cut through this um, protective film. If not, then I'm going to have to like kind of like slightly like... I guess pull it up to the edge right here in order to just cut the film but I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the film on it and see if that works all right so I pretty much have this cut out a bit so with the knifeless tape for it to work you want to have it like right where the I guess edges of the vinyl put your thumb down I usually use it my left and then Oh, seems to work but okay so it's working with the extra protective film so yeah just pull it pull it all the way down there and that's it so that's actually one side done so once you're done with that all you have to do is just um, remove this and then you'll see the wonders of this knife estate. Nice straight cut, clean. And with this is actually gonna leave like an extra layer from the knife estate, which is gonna be kind of like hidden underneath the wrap. You just have to just, yeah, just pull it and then just follow it all the way where you place the knife estate. Nice and clean cut, really easy. Nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. 
All right, so same thing with this. I'm gonna pretty much just use my thumb again, yank it a bit, and there we go. So that's the cool thing about knifeless tape um, is that you're not, you don't have to basically use an actual knife where if you accidentally like press too much, it's actually gonna cut through the clear coat even so that it can cut through the, through the paint. So definitely you don't wanna do that. Knifeless tape is always the safest, um, especially when the roof does not have any biking racks and it's just like a solid roof to the corner, to the quarter panel. So now that I have like pretty much both quarter panels done, the next thing I have to do is just the front and back. So as you can see, I already have it tucked in. Um, I'm just gonna have the knife pretty much just glide like lightly around the windshield. Same thing with the rear. Um, no difference, it's just don't put too much pressure, especially when cutting it um, in front of the windshield or the rear. So I have the front pretty much cut, same thing with the rear. Um, with this, I'll have to actually remove the protective film. Once I remove that, I'm just gonna heat up the edges, front and back, and then just tuck it in nicely. And with the roof, I already made like a cut in between. So all I have to do is just pretty much just tuck it in, and that's it, and the roof is pretty much done. Oh yeah, and of course, gotta replace the antenna with a new wrap and just put it back. All right, so I do have the protective film pretty much out of the vinyl and really easy. Just have to like peel it off from whichever angle and it'll just come out really easy. Um, but my overall impression of this 3M 2080 is that it's really good. Um, definitely worth the price. The paint just, I mean, the vinyl just looks really good. Um, it looks like an actual black paint. So I don't know if you could see like my reflection right here but you could definitely see it especially like see the tree down there but this is really good i like it a lot i've never seen a vinyl wrap this glossy before but good luck to 3m they've really done a good job with this so anyways it is kind of getting dark the sun is coming down so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish the roof part tuck it in front and back and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and show you um a next clip which is pretty much the next day of the end result of the roof so the roof is pretty much done kind of dirty already because um last night i actually kind of drizzled a bit but and it got windy so dust just carried over to the roof so got dusty but anyways everything's tucked in nice did the sunroof and all that same thing with the antenna I replaced the vinyl with the 2080 3M series. Looks really good. Overall, you can see the reflection of the clouds and the trees. So this 3M is pretty nice. I do recommend anybody who wants to use or wrap their roof gloss black, definitely use the 3M 2080. It's worth the money and it's gonna look good on the car. Overall, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the whole roof wrap.